Hello, CLP Ducks here, and I'm coming to you from my Bushcraft Base Camp again, and I wanted to do a quick little video this time on my mother's canteen carrier and G-Roll, and what I use it for and what I keep in it. Um, I got the canteen, the heavy cover canteen, I didn't know anything about the centerline systems mother's carrier at the time when I first seen the canteen then saw it uh, the the carrier and I knew I had to have it so I went ahead and ordered it with the canteen uh, once I got it in I started using it as kind of a day hike uh, kit to come over here when I come on my property um, I wind up then kind of basically turning it into my EDC um, instead of using a backpack as you've seen on my channel before um, I, uh, I wind up kind of converting everything, downsizing everything, kind of more minimalist style, um, and put it all into the canteen carrier. Uh, but then I wound up getting the G-Roll and uh, put it together. And once I got the G-Roll for it, it was a perfect system, in my opinion. Um, so this goes with me everywhere I go. Um, if, I'm, if I'm going somewhere and I'm not carrying my, uh, my Survive knives, well, I ain't got it on me. It's on my stump over there. I was processing some wood. Um, but uh, if I don't have my survive knife on me, I'll strap it to, to, the, uh, to the strap here. And uh, that way I can just grab it and tote it. And it's, it's like I say, it's my basically survival um, system, survival kit. So let me get into it and what I, what I carry in it. So... Basically, on the uh, the outside of it here, I've got a a uh, Aquaway uh, water filter. It's one of the little pin water filters, and uh, I've used it over here at my the little creek that I've got here behind my camp, and uh, I've used it over here several times, and uh, it works really good. I, now, I, I can't say how well it filters because, I mean, I hadn't been sick by it. So, it, I mean, it seems to work all right. And uh, I've used it, you know, like I say, a few times. Uh, the other side, I've got a uh, just a little Streamlight uh, Stylus Pro that I keep on it. And I like it because uh, one is kind of a, it's a, I won't say complete bulletproof, but, I mean, it's a good little light. And... Uh, the runtime on it. I really like the runtime on two AAA batteries. So I think it's six hours, I think. All right, so that's the outside of it there. Let me uh, start off as, of course, the heavy cover canteen. And then loosen these straps on the side. And I found that anybody gets it, if you really kind of pack this thing up full and you're going to get the cup out, just loosen the straps on the side and uh, the cup comes out really, really easy. So here's my uh, my cup and it was pretty black. I've used it a bunch and uh, I got out here in the creek the other day and decided to go ahead and just clean it off. So I got sand and uh, used it uh, to, to clean it and the abrasion of the sand really works well on this titanium getting the soot and everything off. And then, of course, in the back, the lid for it. Okay, that's all that I keep in the main canteen area. Now, on the front, let's go to the front pocket. The front pocket, I have got a titanium uh, Snow Peaks spoon and fork. Now, what I'm going to wind up doing, or I've, I've got going, I've got a uh, Keith. Um, titanium spork that I got coming and it's going to take the place of these two just having the one in there instead of having you know actual fork and a spoon uh, then far as and it, the front pocket I've kind of got them divided up a little bit the front pocket is kind of your eating kind of um, kitchen area whatever kind of pocket uh, I keep a, a Cliff Builders Protein bar in there all the time, and uh, that comes in, you know, pretty handy, especially if something unexpected comes up. Like the other day, I had to go to the hospital. Uh, my mom wound up having to go in, and she got really sick, and 
I took this and like I said, sitting there and hadn't ate no breakfast. It was past lunch and it was on a Sunday and the cafeteria was closed and didn't have no change on me to get anything out of any machine. But luckily I had this and I was wound up eating that and that kind of tidied me over so it worked really well. Um, then I carry these coffee, little coffee deals. Um, i trying to think of the name of it. Jiva, uh, Java, Jiva, something like that. I don't remember. But uh, they work really well. You just boil your water up, throw them in there, and it tastes really good. So I got them in there. I think I got three or four of them. Um, then I carry uh, my signal panel from the Hidden Woodsman, Malcolm makes. And uh, it works really well. I just got it in, and uh, I wind up uh, coming over here yesterday and processing wood and using it to... Uh, to process the once the woods processed to, to lay it down uh, all the wood on the ground and everything with it and then transport it from uh, to my fire so it worked really well but it you know it's got several different uses you use it as a uh, um, set pad you know if you want to sit down somewhere and and uh, it's kind of got a it's really water resistant I guess you'd say on the bottom so you can uh, you can use it as a set pad and of course you know one if i'm ever in a survival situation you know and need to need to you know try to get people's attention i mean this fluorescent orange i mean it really is seen you can see it really well so i mean you can use it as what the intended purpose was so i keep that in there uh toilet paper this is just a little uh pre-rolled up deal the toilet paper I think it's a Coleman I got it at Walmart and uh, I like to have some toilet paper for obvious reasons with me um, and then I carry my titanium uh, Amberlet fire ant stove little twig stove in there and it works really really well and a lot of times I'll come over here and I don't want to build a big fire or nothing so I will um, I'll just, if I wanted to heat up some water and make some coffee, then I could just use my little twig stove. So that stays in the in the front pocket. And there's another one of these Jiva coffee deals. There's four of them. That's it for the front pocket. So like I say, the front pocket's kind of dedicated to, um, you know, food, items, uh, that kind of thing. On the, this pocket beside me, it's kind of more my medical um pocket I guess you'd say kind of first aid I keep a little hand sanitizer in it this is uh, a little deal one I got a little it's just so little I don't want to lose it but it's a little uh, titanium whistle um, I got it in there more of a emergencies whatever um, then I got some tweezers and a little needle you know for picking stickers out or whatever I'll keep it in there then some uh, Vaseline uh, lip balm like chapstick or whatever some bug spray is is getting you know springtime now and the mosquitoes will be out in full force I we'll keep some bug spray uh, got a little uh, military cravat that I keep in there uh, you know, you've got several uses for it, um, you know, for any kind of medical needs. You can use it as a tourniquet, you can use it to try to stop blood, you can use it as a splint. There's a lot of different uses for a cavat. I keep it in there. And then this is my little boo-boo kit. Um, it's basically just band-aids. Um, there's some, a little bit of uh, uh, medicine in there, uh, some Tylenol, Advil, some... Um, stomach medicine uh, some allergy medicine in there and then a couple of prescription pills that I have to take that if I wind up um, you know out something comes up and I couldn't get home that night or something like that I got a few of my prescription pills I keep in there that I gotta take and that's it for the side pocket there the other side pocket is more tools tool wise I guess you'd say um, I keep some um, it's not paracord, it's more of a kind of a bank line, I guess you'd say. I got about 25 foot of this in there. And then this saw. This is a, 
a Gerber saw. It is old. Um, I've had this saw, I guess since I was probably about 15, 14, 13, 14, 15, somewhere along in there. And uh, works really well. Uh, it's light, very light. I think it weighs like four ounces. Um, but saw is really good uh, for what it is. I mean, it's not a silky, you know, um, but it's, how light it is, uh, it saws really good. It's an, like I said, it's an older Gerber made in the USA. They made it back in the, uh, the early 90s, I guess it is. And um, this saw has been with me for a long, long time. And I tied some paracord to it, uh, visible paracord, so I can lay it down somewhere I, I can see it. Uh, but yeah, it, it works really well. It locks back. Uh, you know, if you find one of these on on eBay, then I've seen see them on eBay a few times listed. If you can find one on eBay, then you know, hey, go ahead and snatch it up. It's worth it. I mean, I really really like this saw. Uh, I was carrying my silky uh, pocket boy in the side of it. And it will fit, but it's a lot heavier than this. And this works out really well for uh, being able to to use for sawing. Uh, I've got a little survival fishing kit that I put together, just a little old plastic uh, uh, cylinder tube deal here. And I got fishing line in there and odd and in different little hooks and weights in there. And I've got some duct tape or gorilla tape, just a little bit of gorilla tape in there. Uh, Firesteel.com, fire steel. This is the Ranger Fire Steel. And all of my fire steels now I have changed out to uh, firesteel.com, fire steels. I mean, these things work awesome. I mean, really puts out some good sparks. And uh, like I say, this is pretty lightweight. This is the Ranger model, firesteel.com. Check them out. They're, they're real reasonable on their prices and uh, really good, good fire steels. Uh, this is a little Sun 2 mini compass that, uh, that I picked up and uh, put in there. I've got some fat wood that I've harvested. A little star flash uh, signal mirror. Like I say, this this kit, it's, a, it's an everyday carry kit for me, but it's basically uh, a survival kit. I mean, if something happened and I was stranded, then I want to be able to, this kit to be able to, to make it and survive. And I think that I've put it together well enough that that, that, that could happen. Um, this is a uh, magnesium, a little magnesium uh, stick, which is also comes from uh, firesteel.com. And then this is a little wet fire tender for starting a fire. Like I say, I use the fat wood, but if I need to, I can, I can use that wet tender. All right, so that's it for the all the top part. Let's go into the Giro. Uh, first off, uh, it's got a uh, hook and loop uh, Velcro panel where you can put patches. And whenever I saw this patch from the Hidden Woodsman, not all who wonder are lost, I was like, I gotta have that patch. I, that, it's really cool, I like the way it looks and, and uh, meaning behind it and everything else. So I got the patch uh, I put on there. These are the, I don't like straps just hanging and dangling. So there's around here, there's a lot of briars too, a lot of green briars. So I got these, um, I can't remember what these things are called, but uh, the, uh, they're, they're Max Expedition and uh, they're little gear clip deals where you can roll your cord up and uh, clip it and it's out of the way. And let's see, G roll, take it off. You just unloosen it. It come with the uh, centerline systems uh, uh, clips, the ones that's the clip. But I actually had ordered uh, some of their their uh, uh, buckles and everything uh, before, and um, I like the the one that just cinches type versus the clip one better. Oh, and another thing that I wind up getting from them is the shoulder pad for the shoulder strap. It's worth it. It is. I mean, it, it's not uncomfortable with the uh, just the regular strap, but when you start loading it down with gear, and like I say, this thing weighs seven pounds, totally fully loaded with everything. 
this padded shoulder strap is well worth the money and it fits it perfect I mean of course it does made for it your g-roll you just unloosen the side the the straps here and then fold them out of the way and your g-roll just unravels like so so on the first of it what you can see is I got six uh, Vargo titanium spikes um, tent spikes that I could use for building shelter I keep them right there handy on the on the outside loop in the first pocket I have got a this is the big pocket I've got a bushcraft outfitters enhanced messed poncho and this is the seal nylon poncho and it's a little bit bigger than the regular nylon one and uh, it works really well for the you know for what it is a poncho or a shelter I mean I could put it up easily into a tent um, and get under it and be totally good out of the elements uh, that way especially in a survival situation like I said I want to be able to have shelter with me um, so, I mean this thing so far is covering everything that you would need I mean fire got covered uh, water got covered I got the heavy cover canteen cup everything boil water if it's nasty water I got the filter to be able to drink, you know, water out of the streams, whatnot. Um, food, I've got, you know, like I say, it's not a lot, but I mean, a little bit of 20 grams of protein, you know, if you kind of maybe ration it out or whatever, you know, I've got food. Um, so, you know, I've got, I've got shelter, I've got all of it covered, you know, on that part of it. So that's the, the poncho. I've got a, uh, one of the heavy duty Mylar blankets. And this one is, I can't remember the brand of this one, um, but uh, I could use it basically um, as, you know, if I needed to as, as a blanket or as the ground sheet, but I've got in this pocket here, another Mylar blanket. So basically I could use one as to put down the ground, one to cover up with if need be. Uh, so I've got two, two Mylar blankets in there. Uh, this one here is just some bank line and I could use it also for putting up the the uh, poncho into a tent form uh, so use it to, to you know for cordage for whatever but mainly for the putting up the tent and then lastly I've got a pair of mechanics work gloves that I keep in there because one, if you're getting out and about and doing stuff, your hands are very important to you, especially if it's in a survival situation. You go building shelters and stuff. The entire time I built this shelter, I had a pair of these on. I've never wore a pair of these out. But, uh, you know, try to keep keep your hands in good shape. Uh, but, yeah, especially if you're in a survival situation. And you could use it, too, you know, if it starts getting cold out, and, you know, for its warmth, too. But, yeah, so I got a pair of mechanics gloves in there. But that's it. Uh... Like I say, I, I put this together because I basically wanted it for uh, everyday carry. And I've been carrying this now since January. Uh, I wound up getting the G-Roll last month. But, uh, yeah, I, I, like I say, I carry this with me everywhere I go. Um, it's basically my, for, you know, my, my uh, everyday carry bag and survival needs, you know, if need be, if I need to use it as a survival kit. Uh, it's worked out really well and then every time I come over here to my camp spot it goes with me I sling it on my shoulder and works really well. I've always used backpacks um, And not you know anything that just Goes over your shoulder really uh, except for the uh, Saber cat I used it for a little while, but it's kind of big and it just didn't really carry well to me the Max Expedition Saber cat But uh, this uh, great awesome. It carries great. It's comfortable uh, everything's well perfectly thought out in my opinion uh, center line systems uh, they knocked it out of the park with this and if you're thinking about getting one I would highly recommend it uh, I'd highly recommend the heavy cover canteen set I mean I know it's expensive and I know the mother carrier and the G-Roll and all that's expensive I mean there's a lot of money involved in it but to me I mean to get the best gear to get the gear that's USA made that is uh, uh, veteran owned and uh, everything to me that's it's worth it too um but anyway that's it i'll uh, get to another video as soon as i can 
and uh, I'm gonna stay around here at my camp for a while and process a little bit of wood just put back and uh, just kind of lay around and lounge in my hammock and just do some odd and end things so I really appreciate you watching and uh, if you like what you see on my video please hit the like button for me and and uh, you know subscribe to my channel if you'd like uh, also check me out on Instagram it's CLP ducks on Instagram and I post a lot of pictures of of my gear and camp and that kind of stuff you know on there where you can see I just like to share my experience with you on bushcraft and stuff and um, yeah even questions or anything please feel free to comment in the comments and I'll get back with you so thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video